In this video, I want to show you the basics of selecting and editing text in Microsoft Word. In addition to simply typing text in Microsoft Word, the other most common thing that you're going to be doing is editing that text. And when you're editing, in many cases, the fastest way to do your edits is to first select what you want to change. Now, of course, I don't want to change the Gettysburg Address, but let's say I want to update the language to modern English. For example, this text here, what I could do is click and drag to highlight the text that I want to edit. Now, with just a couple of short words, that's really easy. But if it was a longer group of text, it can be a little harder. Another way to do the same thing, though, is to click at the beginning of the text that you want to highlight, hold the Shift key, and then click at the end of the text that you want to highlight. And that will automatically highlight all of the text in between. And once you have part of the text highlighted, all you have to do is tap Delete or Backspace on the keyboard and replace it with what you want to put in. Let's look at a couple of more tips and tricks for how to select the text that you want to edit in Microsoft Word. What if I wanted to select one sentence, exactly one sentence? Of course, I could click and drag and highlight the text manually, like this, but there's a faster way. I could hold the control key on the keyboard and then click on the sentence that I want to highlight. And as you can see, Microsoft Word perfectly selected exactly one sentence. Let's try that again. I'll click away, hold control, and then click on a sentence, and just that one sentence is highlighted. What if I wanted to highlight a full paragraph? There are a couple of really great ways to highlight a whole paragraph. The first is to double click in the left margin, just to the left of the paragraph that you want to select. So I'll double click here, the entire paragraph is selected. What if I double click here? Only that paragraph is selected. Same with the first paragraph. So this is a fantastic, quick way to highlight one complete paragraph. There is another way to do the same thing, and that is if you triple click on any part of a paragraph, it highlights the full paragraph. But you can probably see that it may have also highlighted this picture, which you may or may not want. Let's try it up here. Triple click, it highlights the paragraph. Triple click, highlights the paragraph. And, as many of you probably already know, if you want to select all of the text, just make sure you've clicked somewhere in the document, hold Control and tap A, and that will select all. Everything now is highlighted, selected, and if I were to tap Delete on the keyboard or Backspace, it's completely gone. Everything is gone. I'll go up here and click Undo to bring everything back. So now that we've looked at several different ways to select the text that we want to edit, all we have to do next is tap the backspace or delete key and then replace it with the word or sentence or paragraph that we really want to be part of our Word document. Now, of course, with our text selected, whether it's a word, a sentence, a paragraph, or the entire document, we can use the clipboard group to do things like copy, cut, and paste. So here on the Home tab in the clipboard group, here we have copy. So I can click that. It copies whatever is highlighted. I can then click where I want it to be pasted. I'll tap enter a couple of times, and then I can click paste, and I've copy pasted that paragraph. I can also cut and paste just by selecting my text, going up here and clicking the cut button, and then I can click where I want that text to appear and click paste. And of course, you can also copy cut and paste using keyboard shortcuts. Control C for copy, Control X for cut, and Control V for paste. Here in the clipboard group, we also have the Format Painter. And if you want to learn about the Format Painter, please watch my other videos on that topic. It's a wonderful tool that can save you a lot of time and help you make your document look great. Once again, I'm going to go up here to Undo. I'll click that a few times to put the Gettysburg Address back together the way it should be. And notice that there is also a Redo button. So those are the basic things you need to know in order to effectively select and edit your text in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the Thanks button below the video. You could also support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. Thanks to you, I'm able to continue making videos.